Hello, in this video I am going to demonstrate how we can use R in JupyterLab. So the first thing we should do is install Anaconda, which I am not going to show how to do that. I hope that you have um, already Anaconda installed and if not, then go ahead and install it. You can find it in um, YouTube. You can find a tutorial how to install it. So when you have it installed, let's open Anaconda Navigator. And I am going to try to make the video brief. So um, if I run Jupyter Lab, you will see that I am not able to choose that I want to use R. So I am going to shut down Jupyter Lab and go back to Anaconda. So here, the first thing I should do, I don't have to install R Studio. I do not have to install R Studio. What I have to do is go to environments and create a new environment that allows me to run R here. So I choose that I want to run R. And if I do not need Python, I can unselect Python. But I'm going to leave uh, I'm going to leave them both. So I'm going to call this my new environment. Okay. And click create. So here it is going to take a couple of seconds, maybe close to a minute, um, installing all the packages needed for R and Python. During this video, I am going to show you that when you're using R in Jupyter Lab, you can run into a common problem that will not run any code probably not even Python. So we will show how to work around that, what you have to do. And when you encounter this problem, you will not have to go crazy about it. Another thing is, and I'm going to show this also in the video, when you close Anaconda and you reopen, the environment is going to be the base root, which is the predetermined environment. Okay, so our new environment is already created. And let me demonstrate something here quick. Kernel. Uh, you see that we have a kernel for Python and we have a kernel for R. This is what allows us to use R in this environment. Um, so now this environment, we are in this environment, we are able to use Jupyter Lab and run our R code uh, or script. Well, I don't want to say script, um, but our R code within Jupyter Lab. You see that this new environment doesn't have Jupyter Lab installed, so I have to go ahead and install Jupyter Lab. This is going to take about 20 seconds, more or less. So what I was going to say earlier is when you open Anaconda, if you want to use R, make sure that you go to environment, select the right environment, and then go back and run JupyterLab. So right now, uh, JupyterLab has been installed. I, I just launched it, launched it. And now you see that I can select uh, whether I want to work with Python or R. So let's let's run some code with R. Um, let's see what my directory is. Get working directory. Okay, good. Let's uh, let's say that you want to use a package um, that is that doesn't come uh, with R when you install R. So you can go ahead and install packages and I am going to install apply econometric with R. Mm, I 
think I do not. Let me see. Oh, I'm missing a NAS install. Okay, so this asterisk here means that Jupyter Lab is working, right? Or R is working. It's doing something, and we just have to wait because the apply econometry with R package has dependencies. All these packages will also be installed when you install AER. And you might not need to install it for the work you do, but I think it's very popular. So you, uh, I just used it as an example. And I am going now to call uh, the package that I just installed. AER. Okay, some warning messages. This is normal. Um, now I'm, I am going to also load another library. library. Uh, t -t 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 read XL. Yes. Now I am going to read some data from my computer to load it into Jupyter Lab. And the way I can do this is I am going to use a variable called my data, set it equal to read Excel. The name of my file is pretty long, but I'm just going to write it down here. Take home data to of two okay and let me go ahead and also print the first few rows first few rows of this data frame okay and uh, call it date I meant to say data my data read Excel head da, da, da. oh here the extension XL S X. There we go. So you can see how uh, how I was able to get this data loaded into Jupyter Lab, and the purpose of this video is not to show you how to use R, but to show you that you can use it within Jupyter Lab. So <coughs> excuse me. So let's say that now, for some reason, you need to restart the kernel. And you go ahead and you restart the kernel. And you want to start running your code. Your code is not going to run. And I don't know why this is doing this. Because you just wanted to restart the kernel. But what you need to do is go click this R here. And tell Jupyter Lab again that you are using R. For some reason, you have to specify this again after you restart the kernel. I don't like it, but that's the way it is. And now I can go ahead and run um, R code again. I didn't have to install this package. It ha had already been installed. And here you see, I am already running R within Jupyter Lab. So this is it for the video. I am just going to repeat one thing. You don't have to keep watching the video anymore, but I am going to shut down um, Jupyter Lab and close Anaconda Navigator. Well, I'm just going to quit it anyways. And what I want to show you is that if you run Anaconda again and you try to run Jupyter Lab right away, you might not be able to run R. And I mentioned this before. 
there is a reason for this. You only see Python. The reason for this is that your environment is not the environment that we created. It is the original environment that comes with Anaconda Navigator that comes preset. And this environment doesn't have the R kernel. It has the Python, Python kernel, but it doesn't have the R kernel. If I change to the environment that I created, here you see R. So that's the reason why you um, are not able to run R if you don't come and change the environment right away. But now that I am in this environment, I can go back to home, launch Jupyter Lab, and there I am able to run R. Okay, well, I hope that you like uh, the video, that you learn something new, and that it is useful for you. Thank you, and have a good day or night, whatever it is.